Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will learn how to design artificial leaf, which is electrical submersible pump, and how to create nodal analysis from a well equipped with ESP, All right? But first, we will model a well that is unable to flow and hence need ESP to make it able to flow, all right? We will first set up the well we are now inside the well flow and we will perform the simulation using well flow. We are now inside well flow. Configuration, model navigator, initialization. General data, you can type in general data here as per your requirement. Go forward. Well and flow type. First, we select producer, no artificial leaf flow type tubing, fluid type black oil, well orientation, vertical. All right, and then forward, flow correlations, we select dance and rows with well and riser L factor of one. Forward, reference depth, well type on shore, and zero depth at well head. Forward. Now we go to fluid parameters. You can follow me. The oil specific gravity 0 0.85 and the API gravity will be calculated. Gas specific gravity 0 0.65, water salinity 30,000, PPM and water gravity will be calculated. All right bubble point, solution GOR and oil formation volume factor will use Glasso equation, oil viscosity wheel at all, gas viscosity car at all, and surface tension we will use basic. No inorganics. And for this section, PVT data calculator, if you want to create the results, pressure at 3072, temperature at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and produce GOR 500, standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel. You can press calculate to obtain this information. All right, apply, and then we go to reservoir section. We will create the IPR using analytical model. So we call it reservoir, all right, reservoir and pressure at 3072 PSIA and temperature of 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Middle of perforation, 8,500 feet with permeability of 79, thickness 58 feet and will radius of 0 0.35 feet water cut in fraction 0 0.6 and gas oil ratio of 500 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel. Okay, and we will use Fogel. We will use Fogel equation and total Darcy skin one for the skin options. And we go to drainage area. All right, and circular for drainage shape this one or drainage area or maybe drainage area will be calculated equivalent drainage radius of 1000 feet drainage area will be calculated dh factor this one so we assume a circular reservoir so as you can see the productivity index is 5.83 with absolute open flow of this one, more than 10,000 stock tank barrel per day with total Darcy skin of one. All right, this is the IPR. Okay, rel perm, relative permeability, we can leave it as default. All right. Okay, and then we apply and we go to wellbore section. 
first deviation we will create a vertical well data type md tvd angle enter data for md and tvd so we will input md measured depth and tvd through vertical depth because this is a vertical well so the measured depth will be equal with the true vertical depth of 8500 feet update plot all right this is the plot purely vertical well we press apply and then we go to forward we have two tubings we call it tubing one starting from zero down to 3000 with external diameter of 5.5 internal diameter of 4.892 with default roughness okay and then for the second tubing we call it tubing two starting from 3000 down to 8000 all right and then the internal diameter of 4.5 internal diameter 3.6 i mean 996 right so for the external diameter is 4.5 inch and then internal diameter of 3.996 inches okay with default roughness we press apply and then we go to casing we can make three casings we call it casing one starting from zero down to 3000 with external diameter of 9.513 with internal diameter of 8.681 and then second casing starting from 3000 down to 8000 okay and this one is 6.954 6.184 or we can modify it to be 7 inches with default roughness and then the last casing we call it casing three starting from 8,000 down to, of course, 8,500, seven inches, and then the same internal diameter. Apply, all right, as you can see. Lastly, we will input the temperature model. Okay, we can use calculated for the model and surface surrounding temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And then this one, 8,500, 8,500 will be calculated. Okay. All right, apply. As you can see, we are ready. We have completed all the data input, so we can check at dashboard. This is our natural flow model. The well bore data and reservoir data you can check, and also the fluid properties. Okay, so far so good. And now we can go to analysis to perform the nodal analysis. All right. As you can see now, nodal analysis mode, operating point, we want to find the operating point if the well can, can flow, of course. Stability check is checked. And the outlet node, the well head pressure, okay, 200 degrees or 200 PSIA. The bottom node, of course, at the reservoir. Solution node at casing tree, at bottom hole, okay? And then we can set range. We can use auto range. Click OK. Apply. Calculate. 
All right, so as you can see, there is no operating point. So at the given condition for the reservoir condition, wellbore condition, and also fluid condition, you can see the well cannot flow. The well is dead. Maybe because of, of course, primarily, of course, because of low reservoir pressure. The reservoir pressure is unable to push the fluid to flow from the reservoir or from the bottom hole to the surface, okay? Maybe also because of the fluid is so heavy because now we have fluid with water cut of 0.6 in fraction. So it means that majority the fluid is composed of water and water is heavy. The gravity is bigger compared to oil and of course to gas. All right, so this combination and also the wellhead pressure is 200. Maybe if we lower the wellhead pressure down to 100, calculate, yeah, you can see the well is able to flow. We can make it even smaller, 50 PSIA. The well can flow, obviously, all right? But at our given condition, operating condition, operation condition, the wellhead pressure is 200 PSI and the well cannot flow. And at this condition, of course, we need artificial lift to make the well able to flow again, right? And, then, and that's the second chapter of our video, which is to design and to install electrical submersible pump, all right? Okay, and then we can go to design, or maybe we can first go to configuration. Well and flow type, producer, artificial leaf method, ESP. Apply, and you can see now we have this new section, ESP data. Okay, so far so good. And we can also go to design. Right, these are errors. There are errors in the model. Please correct the model data before any calculation. So we can select, for example, if we want to select the pump, okay, we can select this one with nameplate, for example, for the motor or nameplate rating. Okay, let's find this one, 300 horsepower, okay, and this one, okay, we select this one and then we select, okay, and then cable size. And for the pump environment, the measured depth, pump setting depth at 8,000 feet with maximum equipment OD, outer diameter of the pump, six inches, minimum zero, operating frequency, let's say 60 Hertz, upstream temperature, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, we call it ESP, okay, and then for the wear factor efficiencies, head factor, we select pump wear factor type, head tuning factor 1, motor wear factor 1, gas perator present, yes, with separator frequency cannot be 100%, so with input 0 0.8 in fraction. And calculation options, we check the viscosity corrections, it's important. We check also for the gassiness correction, of course, because our produce GOR is 500 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel, and upper threshold two, lower threshold one, okay? And fluid column in analysis, oil water mixture, 
Oke, okay, because we have water cut of 0.6 and we can leave it as it is. All right. Oke, okay, and then here we click this one at row. Oke, okay, so we will have one ESP and you can see here select catalog data. We now have a catalog. Oke, okay, and then we can maximize and from this catalog we can select the ESP that we want to install for example all right let's say we prefer this one GN4000 and let's have a few first okay we have Alnas Centrelave ESP Inc Novomed ODI, Reda, and also Valiant, Weatherford, WSP. Let's say we will select Reda GN4000. This is the OD with shaft limits at 60 degrees or 60 hertz. Okay. This is for the Monel and this is for the Inconel. Shaft OD, housing limits for the V thread and for the buttress. We select OK. All right, as you can see now, this is our ESP plot, ESP curve for the head and for the motor load. This is the head, right? So we can have in situ flow rate starting from 800 to 5,800 using this pump. Okay, and then this is the motor load. And you can see this black line is our limit of best efficiency. Okay, so our flow rate in which we can achieve best efficiency Best operating point is around 3,800 stock tank barrel per day. Okay, this is for our pump and we need to input the stages. So let's say we start from 170. Okay, as you can see, the head and the motor load. And again, this is the data for motor data, pump, environment, where factors, calculation options, all right? We can click apply. So you can see our ESP data is completed. And you can also go to design. The data in this form has been changed. Do you want to apply? Yes. You can go to design to design the electrical submersible pump. Okay. And you can optimize using this section, right? We'll cover this section, this design parameter section in the other video, okay? Let's say we are quite satisfied with this data input for the ESP. And now let's see if we go to nodal analysis. All right, 